<laughs> NFL dropped the the picture on Instagram that Steelers yeah. are resigning Big Ben, and I don't know if you saw it. He commented saying like, "Oh man, this is awesome." Put a little emoji mm -hmm. with it, and then said, "Yo, let's talk now." So I don't know. It seems yeah. I don't know if well, we've talked about this in the that. past. I even saw because uh, a week ago Zach Banner had said, "I'm not. I'm, I'm getting off of social media until my contract gets done with the Steelers." And Juju was like, "Oh, can I? I wish I could get a contract." You think he's doing the if PR Juju thing? Juju wants to stay. Th this is my thing. If Juju wants to stay for less money, go for it. I don't recommend it, but go for it. I'm sure people will say, "Well, hey, man, money's not all that matters." All right, cool. To each his own. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I'm not. Listen, I'm here to help players make money. If they want to take less money, cool. That doesn't affect my pocket at all. So if Juju somehow, some way wants to come back for way less than his market value, cool. Cool. But we've seen how – just think about his four years here. Imagine if four years ago he had took less to come here. Just think about how quickly Steel Nation turned on him. Let's be real about it. The first two years where AB was there, they loved him. Spoke highly of him, couldn't say a negative thing. Year three and year four, we saw the tone. We saw people viewed him. We saw people talked about him. You taking less money, just remember, that's a part of it as well. So you want to take less money to deal with that as well? To each his own. Me personally, I'm not doing it. But he could, he's different. So he could be, you know, all for that thing. If he is, it's great to have him back. But like I said, from my perspective and from the guys that I've talked to throughout this process that have done similar things, typically guys aren't taking that much less to come back to wherever they were at. That's all I'm saying. He has talked about some of the former Steelers that have left here, mm -hmm. and it's just the, yeah. the grass on the other side isn't necessarily greener. So I don't know. It's interesting because there is the whole side that you're saying that, bro, just get as much money as you can, man. You only have a right. certain amount of window to to get amount mm -hmm. of money. But if your priorities are a little bit different and you want to play yeah. here for the Steelers in Pittsburgh, right. then I don't know, dude. I don't know if he's just doing the whole PR thing right now or if he really wants to come back. I don't. It seems like <laughs> he does want to come back. Listen for me. I'm never gonna judge his motives. I mean, we could easily sit here and be like, well, he does a lot of PR, so maybe this is PR. Maybe he truly is genuine. Either way, he's saying what, he, what, he's, what he's supposed to say. He, he's saying the right things. But to me, I just look at it like di uh, damage control. It's kind of like when you know I'm about to say something disrespectful to you, what's the first thing you say? Hey, with all due respect, oh, man, it, or, or you know you're going to critique a person. You compliment them first, right? I love your eyes, but, yo, what's up with these shoes? You know what I mean? Like, so what, what, what I feel like it's happening is like Juju's building me up this, man, you know, I want to come back. God, I love Pittsburgh. Still a nation. This is home. Man, I don't want to be anywhere else. But they offered me $50 million. I mean, what did you expect? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's, that's how it's going to be, personally. But, hey, we could be surprised. I hope we are. I hope we are. Yeah, I wonder if he could start yeah. going like the NBA route even. A two-year deal with the Steelers. I don't. You can't do like one and ones though, right? Where a player has an opt out. No, no, no. You, you, you can, but the problem is this: NBA. What are the injury risks? The percentages of getting injured on a one-year or two-year deal are drastically lower. That's why the NBA For players sure. they do and they able to move frequently. The reason why football contracts are in, of the longer nature, especially the bigger money contracts, so that way, if an injury does happen, number one, the player is covered, but number two, if you're you, well. The big thing is to keep the player covered because otherwise, you know, you play that one year deal, you got hurt. I don't have to sign you back for nowhere near the money. You think about what happened to Isaiah Thomas from a basketball standpoint. That was the negative side of it, right? Take the one years, take the one years, and now he got bit in the butt. Probably never going to see the money that he could have got if he would have took a long-term deal during that time. In football, that happens a lot more just because of how high risk of an injury the sport is. I mean, it's a 100% injury uh, rate. You're going to get hurt if you play football. It just depends on to what extent. We obviously saw the extreme once again with a guy on a one-year or franchise tag in terms of Dak Prescott. We already highlighted Bud Dupree. These are all prime examples of, all right, take the one-year or, okay, you're on the franchise tag. This happens, though. It happens There's a definitely lot. Risk so you just got to sure. be careful with it, man. Absolutely got to be careful with it. To me, I just... The whole grass is greener or not green on the other side of the fence. If you want to ask guys like William Gay and Will Allen, was the grass greener? Sure, they're going to say no because, number one, financially it was nowhere near the same standpoint, but obviously they had bad situations. But you go ask Javon Hargrave who signed that contract that he signed last year if the grass is green. Do you think he cares to that extent 
what the Eagles did from a record standpoint, when that man just signed for how many millions guaranteed up front, as much as y'all, I mean, we could make it to steal away. All oh, people want to play for the jersey. I get you on all of that. But at the end of the day, that jersey isn't paying bills once you're done playing. That jersey isn't sending your kids to college. That jersey isn't setting up your grandchildren. These contracts are. So, no, you dude, know, you're you 100% take you right. Take it, but you're 100% that, that's, right that, with that, all that's that. What it boils down to but, it is a job, it is your profession. Now, we are very passionate about it and we love it, but it still is what provides you the means to have this nice lifestyle. I agree. You're hundred percent right. Yeah. It just seems with everything Juju has done over the past month, even some of these past couple of weeks that he really genuinely wants to stay. That's what's interesting to me. Yeah. So we'll see and, if that happens because do, we've talked about yes. just like the discrepancy of potential millions that mm-hmm. you could be leaving on the table staying here, but absolutely. Yeah. I'm just, and, and I'm interested to see how it plays out. And I do think he genuinely does want to stay. I, I don't want people to think that that's what I'm talking about when I'm speaking on why he probably will leave. It's not that he doesn't love Steeler Nation. I think he loves being a Pittsburgh Steeler. I think he loves Steeler Nation. The difference, though, is when you're talking about the compensation that goes with this. Because it's not like we play this game for free. We don't. We don't. I mean, trust me, there's plenty of people out here. If you want to play the game for oh, I play the game free, I play the game free. Everyone says it until it's contract time. Juju could come back easily if he genuinely, to that standpoint, wanted to be back. Let's be real about it. He could easily do that. But it's not the case because of the numbers. The numbers matter. If the numbers didn't matter, he would have signed a deal for the minimum for the next three years, right? He would sign a 10-year Juju minimum level contract, and he'll be satisfied, right? Because he just only wants to play in Pittsburgh. But that's not the case because the money is a factor. So that's why to me, as much as people say, well, man, the money doesn't matter. The money doesn't matter. It does. We saw who JJ Watt for a prime example. He's a guy who's seen a ton of money in the end. The money mattered. I don't think this situation is going to be any different personally, man. 